So one thing I've been spending time on, I don't think it's really a waste, but spending time on is I've been revising my little uh, voltage doubler circuit to run my uh, 230 volt, you know, ECM type motors off of a 120 volt supply. So here's the latest one I did. I don't need a second capacitor because a second capacitor on a voltage doubler circuit is actually the ones that's inside the end product, the ECM motor itself. So I can eliminate that and I just put in one big one uh, on the first part of it because basically it's just using the two halves of your sine wave, one to charge the first capacitor and the next half of the sine wave to put the next uh, voltage you know, inverted voltage in series with your previously charged capacitor on the first half of the cycle to charge the second capacitor at basically double the voltage, so 170, then up to 340, but, you know, in the 300 volt range. That's why I write 300 volts DC here. Now, I don't know how effective it is, but I do have like a, a little relay here with a capacitor, diode, all sorts of little tricks I kind of added to mess around, but basically to let it kind of charge the capacitor um, through a resistor to a certain extent until it can close the relay and then that uh, connects the line voltage to the through the diode to the capacitor and all that stuff. It's probably pointless, but anyway, it seems like that. As soon as I flip the switch, I hear the relay already click. So it's... But anyway, this is kind of... Oh, I got a little smoke coming out of that resistor. I didn't have that before. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. It does work. It's a massive blower, man. That replaces a belt drive motor. I might just remove that stupid, you know, relay and a couple extra resistors and everything on there that was uh, trying to delay the initial charge of the capacitor and just say, screw it, and just use it, you know, as I need just to run motors like this without having to use a step-up transformer or whatever. Um, this is similar to the circuit that I actually have out in my unit that's running that 230 volt um, condenser fan motor in my unit and I have a version of one of these inside my high wall to run it that 230 volt blower that's in there as well.